We're poured into the new covenant with God. Not just freedom from sin, but we can know communion with God. Not just freedom from addiction, but we can know communion with God. You know, it's not going to be by keeping the Torah that we will know uh, that will know um, salvation, because no man can can keep the Torah. It's so perfect. It's so wonderful. You know, it's the precepts of God, and and there's no more sacrifices that, um, of the Lamb. So what are you going to do? There's no more temple. So what are you going to do? Well, you can go to Jesus, who is the temple of the living God. From him streams of living water flow. You can go to Jesus, who's the final sacrifice for sin. It's his blood that has sealed the new covenant with humanity. That's why it's called the New Testament, because it's the new covenant with all humanity, that anyone who puts their faith in him will be brought from out of the curse of death. You know, it's not going to be hit or miss for me on Judgment Day, ladies and gentlemen. I have a full assurance of my salvation because I put my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the light of the nations. I've been grafted into the root of Jesse by the blood of Jesus, and such is the same for all of us. We can know communion with God as we turn to Jesus, as we put our faith in Him. He sealed the new covenant with His blood. So put your faith in Him. He was the promised Messiah. He was God in the flesh. He was the anointed one. He was born in Bethlehem. He will be called Mighty God, Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace. And on Him will be laid the iniquity of us all. Yes, we can know freedom from the yoke of slavery, from sin itself, as we put our faith in the Lord Jesus. So join with me. Oh, I pray that many of you would, give, would turn from your lives and give your life to God and take up your cross and follow Him. It's not by the prophet Muhammad. It's not by Confucius. It's not by keeping the law. It's by the blood of Jesus. He's the, final, he's the fulfillment of all the scriptures. He is God in the flesh. He is so beautiful. He's fairer than the sons of men. He is the promised Messiah, the Savior. So we would love to pray with you, ladies and gentlemen. I've got my brothers uh, just join me. We'd love to pray with you. We'd love to give you some tracks uh, to read. But, you know, you don't really need us. You can just go to God yourself through Jesus. You don't need to go to the priest or the pope or, or the bishop or the rabbi. You can go straight to God through Jesus. You don't need to go to the imam. You can go straight to God through Jesus. We can all know God, our Father, as we go to Jesus. As we look to Jesus, He is the Ancient of Days, the, uh, the, the all-sufficient Savior of the world. So join with me in worshiping God our Father in spirit and in truth. From Him, streams of living water flow. In fact, Jesus says He's the, uh, uh, the, the river of life. As in, he, whoever drinks from Him will never go thirsty. So drink of the wells of salvation. In Isaiah 12 we read, uh, With joy I will draw waters from the wells of salvation. And Jesus is the wells of salvation. From him streams of living water flow. He's the river of life. He is our salvation. He is our hope, our joy, our peace. He is our salvation. His very name means salvation. He's the saviour of the world. It's not going to be hit or miss for me on Judgment Day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to have to say a special prayer to get me into the pearly gates. I have assurance of my salvation because of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I spoke with someone just a couple of weeks ago, and they said, Oh, I'm going to say a special prayer in Arabic on my deathbed, and that will get me in. There's no way. There's no way. You know, you don't recognize how holy God is. God is the ancient, He's the Holy One. He's holy, holy, holy. He's Lord God Almighty. So to think that it, your words are going to get you into heaven, that's crazy. You don't know God. It's only the work of God. It's only the grace of God. It's a, it can only be a gift. It can only be a gift. 
because such is the nature of God. No man can keep the law. No man can do it in his own strength, not by acts of our own volition, not by duty, not by being a nice person, but by the good work of Jesus. If by the good work upon that cross, we can know freedom. We can know communion with God.